lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah! Oh, there's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Bell, my wastrel friend. No one goes off their joy can actually take joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. Y you're not... Some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Number two. Now serving number two. Welcome to the Rehabilitation Centre. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. Deposit your personal belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. Please continue to the decontamination room. Please discard your clothes. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. Congratulations, you have been decontaminated. 
please proceed to the next room and obtain fresh, new, proper, clean clothes. I hope she's not watching and judging. garden district on you. Please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Is that licorice? Why licorice? Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Oh, damn it! They were serious about taking my joy, weren't they? Couldn't be better, thanks. Right as rain, right as rain. Looking good. Right, Toe. We're life for noise, pop a joy. Please head into the theater and take a seat. Show. 
And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Huh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. Well, <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now, please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise. Proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them and we shan't have disagreements.
Mrs. Sackville, your question please. If you want to make friends with me, should you A. Give me flowers B. Talk about old times C. Stop staring at me, why is everything staring? Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. <laughs> Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? If you want to fit in, you should. A. Hey, say hello to everyone you meet, like I do. B. Visit people's houses. Whether they're there or not. See! The eyes! The eyes!
May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. Soon, I imagine. But the last oh, time okay, someone you. came through, oh, this lovely night. Hello, dearie. Hello, dearie. Hello, dearie. Hello, dearie. Hello, dearie. So from here, I've got to get to St. George's home and then into the parade. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade, like the one I left on my desk in the parade. Dave. Wait, did you see the pipers? The old government printing Smash office it. was on Maiden Home. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks. There you are. Wait, I forgot to I think this might be the one Sally and me Hold tried on. to blow up. You're not Harry. I always <laughs> wonder what happened to the letters. There was an awful lot of smoke. Lovely weather. Did you hear about Constable Rossetti's wife's cake?
Looks like the old printing office is pretty well buttoned up. I wonder if there's a way in the back. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. Next week? Arthur? Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. Don't you lovely day for it? Me, you idiot. It's me! Sally! Oh, I knew it was you. I mean, the glasses, the hair, the really adorable jacket. Don't ask me how. You're not that awkward little boy anymore, are you? But the way you walk, it's, it's like the mask isn't even there. I just, I just knew. There's Arthur. Sally? You look fantastic. This ancient thing. I've had it two weeks. I'm out of my mind with boredom. Green and white checked. Your dress, the last time I saw you. Running out the door. <laughs> oh, that horrible gingham dress. Oh, God, that takes you back. <sighs> You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little fucking faith. I'm not going to turn you in. Whatever possesses you to go off your joy? <sighs> Percy. Oh, God. I saw a picture of him. I promised I'd look after him in Germany. I have to go and find him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. <laughs> Good Christ. Just tell the policeman that. I'm sure they'll wave your right on through. Yeah, haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm very close with General Bing. Of course you are. <laughs> no. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. Friends? I mean, I could go see him and ask him to give you a letter of transit. Don't put the general out on my account. I'm sure you've only so many favours you can ask of him. My God. You still hate me, don't you? Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 years. We were 16! How could you? Because I liked him. Because he had that adorable beard. I don't know, there isn't a reason for everything. You're the last bloody person who should be off his joy. I can't believe you are. Believe me. Take enough... stuff. Look. Some downer broke into my lab last week, literally tore the bars off the windows, and the ridiculous thing is I forgot to lock the front door. Point is, it's a horrible, terrible world out there. I just don't see you smashing your way into the city without a great deal of help. Oh, no. Not me. I'm living on the King's Road right now. Of course you are. I couldn't exactly have stayed there, could I? Like, nothing happened. <sighs> Look. I'm sorry. This isn't what I meant to... Maybe we could help each other. Maybe I could come by when I'm feeling... Better? Brilliant. You ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologising grievously? And asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. Damn it, lads. She scarp her. Oh. But what have we here? A friend of Miss Boyle's, innit? Funny. You don't seem all high and mighty. Perhaps we can express our feelings about Miss Boyle to her friend. You won't get away with <laughs> Anna! Ah. 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 <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I could take these all the time and I wouldn't have any worries. Thing. What's she on about? Looks like the old printing office is pretty well buttoned up. I wonder if the... I think this might be the one Sally and me tried to blow up. I always wonder what happened to the letters. There was an awful lot of smoke. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. You ass. How about going? <laughs> you won't get away with this. village where they spark it with joy. Oh. <laughs> 